Yeah, it's your boy Fist, and here's us bringing another great edition of Call of Duty for me, because that's what I do. MK14 on Foundation, just a regular game of Team Deathmatch. I think yesterday I did um, a Ground War game, and I was just showing you, like, sometimes when you play Ground War, your connections are not that good. But in Team Deathmatch, my suggestion, if you live in the States, um, probably sometimes the connections like they have this lag compensation thing going on where you know your connections to equal it out with people with great connections they bring it down all equally so you might be lagging a little bit behind or or ever how they do it and I think a lot of people don't realize they don't understand that this game is region locked and what I mean by region locked if you don't understand is that for instance if you live in let's say I don't know Norway I'm just using it it's not take it don't take it personal let's just say you live in Norway you cannot play people in the United States from your Xbox Heads up, enemy I mean it's almost to the point where it's almost in the United States it's it's there's the servers change at 3 a.m. so if you're on e if you're on the East Coast I think it's not 3 a.m. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. Eastern. So that way it'll be midnight on the West Coast. Then what happens is if you're on the East Coast, you'll switch over in the United States to the West Coast servers or mid or closer to like Texas. And a lot of people don't get that. You know what I mean? So they 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 try to lag compensation. You know, you switch servers and it's region locked, meaning the United States is all one region. Whereas, you know, another country might be one region. So you're not going to play certain people only in extreme cases. Like, when it searches, it'll search for someone closest to you in your city. So the thing about it is, like, when you're playing people, most of the time you're playing people within your region. And that's, and that's who you're playing. So anyways, I went to Team Deathmatch because... You know, uh, the connections are a little bit better. And, you know, when you're ranking back up and you're moving back up and you're getting all your weapons. Uh, this is a bare MK-14. I don't have nothing on it. I don't have no kick. I have, I have, I don't, I don't even think I have kick on it. I think I might have kick. I just unlocked it just in this video. But, uh, this is a great weapon to use, um, in these kind of areas where you have a lot of places people can uh, head glitch what I mean by head glitching is you have to I've said this before and I don't think I don't think people realize this either if you took a piece of string and you put it on your TV and you went from one corner to the other where and you made an X on your TV the middle of your TV is where the crosshairs are on all guns for Call of Duty but the problem is comparative to Halo the, the crosshair, the reticle, is below center. So what that does is it brings your head down. You literally have to come from behind an object to shoot somebody in Halo versus Call of Duty, where the reticle is in the middle of the screen. Now, if the reticle was dropped down, then you it doesn't matter. They would be able to head glitch if they can't shoot their weapon if they corrected that in this Call of Duty. I would love them to correct that and lower the reticle to probably um, lower center of the television. I mean, that would solve the problem for head glitching, but I don't know why they don't do that. You know, that's still a mystery to me. You know, Halo has it, but this game doesn't. And it's a military shooter. So you'll get a lot of people that are in these areas where, you know, it's summertime. People understand the maps more. They understand the flow of the uh, gameplay. So what happens they'll sit in like a back of a jeep shooting you through a window or behind a little pipe and you can't see their little head so you need a surgical pinpoint weapon I mean this is all saying that if you're going to play on your own you're gonna go out there and game by yourself this stuff that I'm giving you the information I'm giving you now is based on current gameplay everyday gameplay so that way you know uh, I'm not giving you some outdated information so, you know, and sp specific maps. Now you have to understand, gameplay is based on map knowledge 
and map and, and how in weapon weapon specific gameplay for that map so there's certain maps like the next video I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you that this weapon cannot be beat on this map no matter what because if you take if you take the if you take your weapon if you take the uh, map knowledge and you add the weapon based on that map you can't be beat so I'll, I'll, I'll go over that tomorrow in my next video on a bare weapon that I got too. This is an MK14 as well that's bare. And uh, it's funny, I had a comment, somebody said something. I mean, there's only 300,000, 360,000 people on 15 million worldwide bought it. Of course, there's only 360,000 people at any given time. The Earth is on a 24 rotation axis, not all of them are going to be playing at the same time. Oh my god. Hello, McFly. Knock <laughs> you on your head. So anyways, um, upgrading these weapons, MK14, I think it's a, I love this weapon, I love it, I wish I could talk more about it, until next time, it's very good, peace, ow!